Good morning. Welcome to Light and Base, taking His glory to the ends of the world. This morning's message is titled, Finish Your Course. Finish Your Course. And our team scripture is taken from the second epistle to Timothy chapter 4 verse 7. Please, I'm reading from the KJV. Paul says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Again, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. The most important thing in life is for men to finish their purpose, to find their purpose, sorry, and fulfill it. The most important thing in life is for men to find their purpose and fulfill it. The life of a man is a race, a course to complete. Find your course and finish it. As a Christian, what should be most important to you is finding your course to finish it. Success as pertains to God is all about a man finding his purpose in life and fulfilling it. That's all what success is about. And that is why Jesus said, a man's life consisted not in the abundance of things. He was trying to define success to us. That success is not about acquisition of material possessions, but success is all about a man finding his purpose in life and fulfilling it. Finding your purpose in life and fulfilling it. No matter the accomplishments, the seemingly achievements, no matter the material acquisitions, if a Christian doesn't fulfill the purpose for which he was born, he is a failure. Now, as a Christian, you have to understand this. Unbelievers are doctors. Unbelievers too are lawyers. Unbelievers too have PAD. Unbelievers too are professors. Unbelievers too are emeritus. Unbelievers too are pharmacists. Unbelievers too are politicians. Unbelievers too are entrepreneurs. Unbelievers too are traders. Therefore, your divine purpose for life can be any of the things that I've mentioned. If there is any career or anything that you are involved in that unbelievers also do, that is not your divine purpose in Christ. It's as simple as that. This should be simple for every Christian to understand. So those Christians who think their life is about careers and professions and going to school, they are joking. They are just haven't understood what Christianity is about or their divine destiny is about. Everything that you do, that the Gentiles also do, the unbelievers also do, cannot be God's purpose for you in life. Because if that is the purpose, then the unbelievers too are living out their destiny for life then. Unbelievers are involved in all those things. They are also bankers like Christians are bankers. You see. So that cannot be your purpose for life. When we went to school, we were not in class with only Christians. They were Islams, they were unbelievers, pagans, homosexuals, all of them were in the class. They also wrote the exams and they passed and also got A's like we got A's. They also passed with flying colors that like we passed with flying colors. So there's more to your life as a Christian. The success of a product is the fulfillment of the purpose for which it was made. The success of any product is the fulfillment of the purpose for which it was made. Only the manufacturer can determine the success of a product. Only the manufacturer can determine the success of a product. The Bible says, for we are his workmanship. So the same way we have manufacturers and their products, you have Apple man making Macs and iPhones. God also 
from Paul, as we can see in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, it's a manufacturer. The Bible says we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus. We are his handiwork, his product, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. So the plans, the good works, the purpose for the Christian had already been prearranged. You have to find out and walk in them. But the Bible here helps you understand that when you, are, you say you are a Christian, the new creature, you are God's product. Therefore, your success is defined by fulfilling the purpose for which he made you. You are not an accident. No human being on this earth is an accident. Even those who were born out of rape, right, and unplanned birth, they are not accidents. No one is an accident. Every human, your parents may not have planned for your coming, but it doesn't mean that God didn't know that you were coming. Every human has a purpose in life. Find that purpose and fulfill it. Man can only start living out his divine purpose when he comes into Christ. Remember some years back, God impressed on my heart so much to help me understand. He says, son, the most important thing in life is to find your purpose and fulfill it. The most important thing in life is man finding out his purpose and fulfilling it. That is the true meaning of success. Don't let the world deceive you. Don't measure success by their value system. How their standards. No, measure success by God's standards. Every human being has a purpose in life, like I said. Find that purpose and fulfill it. That purpose is not having a PED. Your purpose for life is not for you to have a master's degree. Your purpose for life is not for you to be a doctor. No. Find your true purpose or divine purpose for being and fulfill it. All those things I've mentioned can be a channel in fulfilling that purpose. All those pe things I've mentioned can be the playing field for fulfilling that purpose. But there is a divine purpose that you have to find out. So you don't say that, oh, because I have gone to school, and I have become a doctor, I become a lawyer, I become a PhD holder, I become uh, uh, an entrepreneur, I become an engineer, a physicist, I have, I'm successful. No, no, it's not that at all. Because I have mansions, I have helicopters and airplanes, I am successful. That is the, how the world measures success, but that is not success in the eyes of God. Success is fulfilling the purpose for which God himself created you. Find that purpose and fulfill it. That is the most important thing. When a man dies without fulfilling that purpose, he's a failure. Oh, you don't know what comes to the spirit of a man when he dies and didn't fulfill his purpose. For the unbeliever, the fear that comes to him is nothing that can be explained. You cannot explain it with any words. Is so horrific and cannot be explained. For that Christian who didn't fulfill his purpose, shame comes to him. Shame comes to him. You may make heaven and still not have fulfilled your purpose in life. You have to understand that making heaven and fulfilling your purpose in life are not the same. You can be a Christian, make heaven. And still didn't fulfill your purpose for being. There is a purpose for life. You see, there is a purpose for life. The rewards that Paul talks about in the Bible is based on you fulfilling your purpose. It's based on you. That's why he says that for some, even though they will be saved, their works will be bent. So find out your purpose and fulfill it. Man can only start living out his divine purpose when he comes into Christ. There are two destinies, the natural and divine. There are two kinds of destinies on this earth. There's the natural destiny and there's the divine destiny. The natural destiny is what you are born into. Everyone is, when a person is born by his mother, is born into the natural destiny. The natural destiny is what family, society, and the world will put on you. You see, for instance, the education of this world, 
the careers of this world. What the world, the natural world puts on you, that is the natural destiny. And that is why it's not only Christian that lives at the natural destiny. The natural destiny is for every man born of a woman. You see, that natural destiny applies to everyone. That's why you have Christians going to school. You have unbelievers also going to school. You have Christians being lawyers, unbelievers to being lawyers. You have Christians being presidents, unbelievers to being president. Politicians, the, the, the same way. That is the natural destiny. Yes. But the divine destiny is found in Christ. Sadly, not even all Christians fulfill their divine destiny. The most important thing in life is to fulfill the purpose for which you were, you were born. There are many, including Christians, who live and die without finding out their purpose. Man, find out your purpose and fulfill it. The journey of life is different for every man. Don't try to be someone else. That's the, one of the big problems in the church. You find Christians wanting to be like others. They are competing and comparing themselves with one another. But the wisdom says that they comparing themselves to one another are not wise. Are not wise. So sometimes even you come to churches and they have had spiritual selfishness and envy. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be because you find one sister trying to be like another sister. One sister trying to overdo another sister. All those things are carnal and foolishness. It's foolishness because that is not wisdom. Wisdom is about you finding your purpose and fulfilling it. Don't make another human being your standard because you don't know the journey that God gave to that person, that sister or brother. Let he or she run his journey. Also, you find your journey and run it. Man, find your purpose and fulfill it. The journey of life is different for every man. Don't try to be someone else. There is a purpose for your life. Find it and fulfill it. Paul the Apostle understood and knew his purpose in life. I like the Pauline communication. He called his purpose a career. This was wisdom. To Paul, his purpose for life was a career. When other people are, are say that my as what is my your career? He says my career is a doctor. My career is, is a physicist. Paul rather says that his divine purpose. He said that his divine destiny was his career in life. What what a mindset! What a mindset! That is wisdom. Wisdom, seeing that God's divine purpose for your life, you see that as your career for living. That was wisdom. That is wisdom. That was the Pauline communication. The Pauline communication. He had an understanding of life. What all this is about. It's about the mystery of life. The mystery of life. So, Paul was fully focused on completing his race. At the end, he could say, I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Will you be able to say the same when all is done? The day the trumpet sounds, can you say the same? There are Christians doing the wrong jobs. There are Christians married to the wrong people. Even there are Christians living in the wrong places, etc., etc. They are in a wrong course. How can you even fulfill your purpose when you are in a wrong course and running the wrong race? How can you even fulfill your purpose when you are in the wrong course? Only God can guide you into fulfilling your purpose for being. Every manufacturer makes a product for a specific purpose. There are people in the, in, you see, because he makes the product for a specific purpose, everything about the product is fashioned in a way to fulfill that purpose. So the talents, whether natural, whether spiritual, they all are geared towards him fulfilling that purpose. That's why there are no two fingerprints alike. There are people in the wrong course because of carnal reasons. 
remember even in science, some of you who are acquainted with science or are acquainted with called structural biology, you see that function is linked to structure, right? Structure determines function. Structure determines function. It's not only, it's the same in the spiritual. So because of your divine purpose, it gives you the ability, the talents, everything for you to fulfill that purpose for which he brought you into this world. But now imagine there's, there, imagine you have uh, a tissue in the lung trying to fulfill the function of the neuro neurons. Will it work? So God even reveals his mind and wisdom through even the things that he has created. Right? You can't find a neuron, a neuronal tissue fulfilling the purpose or the function of a kidney. Why? Because structure goes with function. So now, you as a human being, God knowing the purpose for which he brought you into this world, fashion you and give you the abilities and talents to fulfill that purpose. Both the spiritual ability, the spiritual giftings, the spiritual graces, and also your talent to fulfill that purpose. But here you are, trying to fulfill the purpose of another man who, who rather has been fashioned for that purpose. How do you think it will work? It will just bring frustration. But if you will find your purpose for which you have been fashioned and molded to complete, that is where your, the joy is. That is where the glory is. That is where the greatness is. There are people in the wrong course because of carnal reasons. Like I said, they want to be like other people. They compete and compare themselves with others. This is not wisdom. The journey of life is different for every human being. What should matter to you is finding your purpose and fulfilling it. This is the true meaning of success. God bless you.